<laughs> a man lives on the 60th floor, 66th floor of an apartment building. When he goes to work on sunny days, he takes the elevator all the way to the ground floor. When he comes home, he rides the elevator to the 36th floor, then takes the stairs the rest of the way, the rest of the way up to his apartment. But on rainy days, he rides the elevator all the way down when he leaves for work and all the way up to the 66th floor when he comes home. Why can he ride the elevator all the way up on rainy days, but not on sunny days? Uh, He's yeah. a fish. He's a fish. The main's a fish. <laughs> What's to be done? <laughs> no, Michael Palin, I'm so, I'm so sorry to say that's wrong. And thank you for popping in for one line. Uh, he's a mermaid. Uh, no. He's a merman. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I know the answer, so I'm going to keep uh, doing bullshit. <laughs> I actually don't know it. I've never heard this. Justin, you heard this one? I don't want to say yes, because that's like puts Aaron into the least fun podcasting situation in recorded history. Well, yes, that's what I always do. happens to yeah. me. Uh, Justin, that's not true. <coughs> Arnie currently holds that belt, so uh, oh. you, it'll be pretty hard for you to take it from Arnie. Um, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I do know. All right, well, I'm alone here, and I'm going to figure it out. Okay, Aaron, right. I'm going to give you a hint. On rainy days, he has an umbrella with him. That's not a hint. That's the whole that's riddle. Whole riddle. Well, it's just a, this says it's a hint. <laughs> 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 if your friends Wait, told you jumping off a bridge was a hint, would you jump oh, off the bridge? Oh, I know. Okay. Wait, real quick. Here's the hint, thing. I know what answers, it is. Right? <laughs> hints are answers. Let me say it because I figured it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I got it a little bit without your hint. So uh, he's a short and he can't reach <laughs> the number. Real quick. 66. Did you say he's a short? He's a, he's a, he's one of those a short people, um, and he can't reach the number sixty six. Yes. Without a long umbrella, <laughs> but he's stupid. He should just bring his umbrella just every bring day. Bring your umbrella every day. Yeah, bring your umbrella every day. If that's the solution to, to walk up like thirty flights of stairs, just carry the umbrella. So the answer is he's a short. He can reach the ground level button when he leaves for work, but can only reach the thirty sixth floor button when returning. When it rains, he can use an umbrella to hit the sixty sixth floor. I'm so confused. His building doesn't <clears throat> have an elevator operator. What kind of building is he living in? He's a poor. He's not a poor and a short. <laughs> a poor and a short. I, I was. I, I felt. I was worried because I felt like we were poking fun at uh, him for being short. I was about to put in a PSA, but uh, that like we weren't doing that. But now that I know he's poor, I feel like we yes. should really open up. <laughs> we have a hard rule on this, in this show. Oh. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Um, can we do some role playing to see, um, Justin, why don't you play the, um, the front desk, uh, at this, uh, apartment complex? Perfect. Can he play a human that works <laughs> at the front desk or do we have to make Justin play a front desk? <laughs> My name is Desco. <laughs> <laughs> Justin will be the front desk. Uh, JPC, you'll be Perfect. the person working the front desk. Um, and then Aaron, you'll be a kid, mm -hmm. um, trying to, to pose as someone who lives there, but you live on the 69th floor. Excellent. Okay. Oh, 69th floor. Very cool. Just for fun. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Desco7000. How would you like to interact with your residents today? Desco, I already told you I'm not leaving my wife for you. <laughs> Please, think about <laughs> it. I have so many ports. <laughs> I have thought about it, and I love your ports, but it just... Excuse uh, me, uh, I'm a gentleman. I certainly work at a bank, and I fired a lot of good men today. Here we go. I have a mustache and a trench coat. <laughs> Off to my 69th floor I go, where I have a wife and a kid who I don't know how to connect uh, to. Excellent, Anyways. sir. <laughs> excellent, sir. We can send you right up to the uh, 69th floor. I just need your um, thumbprint for Desco to open the access port. Uh, oh, oh, I don't have a thumb today. What a strange coincidence. <laughs> Do me a favor, kind mm -hmm. sir. Yes. Press the button for me in the elevator. I'm a short, but I am a gentleman. Uh, Desco, uh, are we allowed to use my thumbprint to give a guest access to their home? Whoa, I'm sensing a lot of sexual <laughs> tension between the two of you. Am I interrupting <laughs> something? I didn't realize it was that obvious. <laughs> Please present I mean, the thumb. <laughs> Okay, here's my thumb and your and my thumb here, Desco. And my thumb. Mm, yeah. I'm too reach, young to be watching this. Oh. Yes, the, thumb. the thumb's touching. Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, okay, you you get, you get the hell out of here, kid. See, see, see. Doorbot lock. <laughs> Uh, scene, or we could time dash 10 years in the future when <laughs> Desco 7000 and uh, the guy have a kid. Did you guys see the robot? Re the, the, did you guys see the RoboCop reboot? It's He's the son of a desk and a kid. <laughs> it's, it's very boring. Very yeah. boring. 